Hi everyone, this is Ronak Patel, knee and shoulder specialist from Inzil Orthopedics. Today I want to take some time and talk about meniscus root tears. So meniscus tears are not uncommon in general. The meniscus is a cushion that exists between the bones of the knee. So there's actually two menisci per knee, one on the outside called the lateral meniscus and one on the inside called the medial meniscus. And the medial meniscus is typically more likely to tear. A meniscus root tear is a little bit more uh, extreme and can be much more um, devastating to the knee. So the root is in the back of the knee and actually there's two roots per knee, but the one in the front is typically not damaged. The back or the posterior root of the medial meniscus is the anchor point of the whole, of the whole meniscus. So without having that root or that anchor, the meniscus is unstable and not functioning. In fact, you can have an entirely normal or healthy meniscus on either side of the knee, but if the root is torn, it makes that entire meniscus non-functional. So how do we recognize a root tear? Well, typically it happens in people in their ages, uh, around the age of 40 to 50 from low impact activities. So you may be having a dull ache in the back of the knee that goes on for a few weeks. You may make nothing out of that, but then one simple step off a curb or the last stair of a staircase or getting off your bike leads to a pop or snap in the back of the knee. The pain is unbearable. You can't put weight on it for a couple of days. You, in fact, you may go to an urgent care or emergency room and they get x-rays and the x-rays are normal, meaning no fracture or dislocation. However, the pain doesn't subside significantly and you may get a little bit of the edge off with some ice and anti-inflammatories, but it's still pretty persistent. An astute knee specialist will be able to diagnose uh, a root tear based on clinical exam um, and history and uh, be able to guide you to an MRI. It's important to get an MRI early on these types of root tears because it will determine if you truly had a root tear and whether your knee is salvageable. Meaning if you don't have any significant arthritis in the beginning, it makes sense to go in there and repair the root, meaning putting stitches in the back of this meniscus and repairing it back down to the bone. Without putting sutures or stitches into that meniscus and repairing it down and just doing a cleanup is the same as not having any surgery at all. So putting stitches and repairing the meniscus root is important to stabilizing the meniscus and restoring function of the meniscus in the knee. Remember that meniscus provides a shock absorber and a cushion to the knee and helps prevent arthritis. So people with root tears will get rapid progression of arthritis within a matter of months. So if at day zero you had no arthritis and you are living a normal functioning life and have a root tear, by six months you can go from having zero to bone on bone arthritis. So these are pretty devastating injuries and are unlike regular meniscus tears. And thus should be treated differently. If you have any questions or concerns and think you may have a meniscus root tear, feel free to visit our website at drronakpatel.com. That's D-R-R-O-N-A-K-P-A-T-E-L.com for more information and a way to get a hold of us where we can and to see if we can help you. Not all root tears need surgery, and some of them certainly respond to conservative measures such as cortisone injections, anti-inflammatories, and physical therapy. But if you want to give yourself an option, make sure you seek a specialist sooner than later to, to know what options you have.